Okay, so time banking is it's basically a system of service exchange um, where you use time as currency. So a time credit is the equal to is equal to an hour, um, and everyone's hour is as valuable as each, as each other's. So like Teresa was saying earlier, it's really sort of similar to just the bartering system where instead of paying for things you're swapping things however it, it, it doesn't just have to be person to person so as, as an example um, if I cut Ben's hair it wouldn't necessarily mean that Ben would then have to give me something of that value back I would earn the credit and then I could spend that with another time banker just just like money. <laughs> it's a wonderful concept. And, and Teresa, how did you get involved with this then? <laughs> uh, I can I reconnected with Val. I listened to the TEDx talk three years ago and I was I was so happy to hear that someone understood the concept because um, I've always spoken about it as a resource based economy, you know, where we have to go back to bartering where people's basic needs are not being met. And when I heard Val's talk three years ago, I was just blown away. I actually went up to afterwards and said, wow, I'm just, you know, and then backing it up with a community center was fantastic because the people need a place to exchange these kind of services too, you know. Um, so yes, we hooked up again. <laughs> was um, well, you, you moved away, didn't you? <coughs> yeah, I moved for away for two years. After that. And came back, so yeah, we reconnected. And the next thing, Val made me admin on Time Bank. <laughs> and um, I think at the time the members were 243. And within two weeks, we grew to 2,600 members. Yeah. And there's been some incredible ex- uh, exchanges happening. And every morning when I wake up and I read the feed, I just think, wow, Val, well done for persevering. Because this, this is your Facebook page, isn't it? Uh, yeah, You're talking about page. And, and, and like you say, we were having a look through this uh, just before, and you know, <clears> there's <throat> an enormous amount of interaction going yes. on there. And it's it's the great side of Facebook. Yeah. We often mm-hmm. talk about the downsides of social media, but this is one of the great positives in the fact that it really is connecting people and putting people in touch to mm. barter their time, as it were. Yeah, it's been wonderful. The vol- amount of volunteers that's come through. And I, yeah, I think the the other the great thing about time banking is, although essentially it is this reciprocal exchange, it doesn't have to be. I think the 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 feeling around it isn't tit for tat. Mm-hmm. It's more about what can I give, mm. and what you get in return is is bonus. Yeah. Um, so and, and we're seeing this on the group that what's getting the most response. It it's not the posts where people think, oh, what can I get out of that? Or maybe I could get my tap fixed. Or maybe I, the ones that are really generating, you know, many comments and lots of communication is the ones where um, it's really just the 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 volunteer stuff. So who can help um, entertain the elderly at this old people's home? You know, peeps, musicians and entertainers and dancers. Mm-hmm. Everyone's like, yes. And we think you just look at something simple like this that we we have. Uh, many elderly people who are lonely, who would love to engage with some high energy youths and share their wisdom and see what the young people are doing. Um, but there is, you know, they, they want it. And there is obviously lots of people who are also really willing to give it. But there's just that gap in in connecting mm. the, the need and the people who are willing to give. And so I think that's that's largely what the Facebook group is doing. It's it's just making it really easy for people to go, do you know, I'd be up for that. And you know where to go, you know what mm. to do. It's a, it's a wonderful sort of combination of taking, because we've talked, as, as Ben was saying before, about the idea that, you know, social media is almost taking away from face-to-face communication, but this is utilising it in order to bring people back together. And as you say, especially that idea of sort of the intergenerational connections, which I yeah, think is so yeah. important. So important and so lacking. Yeah. So, so we mentioned uh, one of the examples there, and this is we're going to be speaking to someone in a couple of weeks about a festival that's happening as well, yes, which is very mankind. exciting, yeah. Mankind Festival. This seems to me like it could change the island really quite dramatically, and especially at a time when it feels like it's more needed than ever because we're sort of we've got reductions in various services mm. that this yep. could potentially affect as well. Yeah. Um. I think this coming back to it, um, it's not something I picked up on as much a few years ago but coming back to it again this time I'm I've got a big focus on how we can fill the gaps in health and social care because I think it, over the last three years things have changed and we it is becoming quite frightening how 
um, how rapidly we're losing vital services and it's vulnerable people who who are suffering and I feel like it doesn't actually make sense to keep relying or keep expecting our government to to organize these services it makes so much more sense to organize these things on a community level and mm-hmm. um, you know that's where we can empower ourselves, um, where we can gain confidence, where we can gain trust again in each other and and really start getting needs met um, without the reliance on you know government services mm. and the wonderful thing about this idea as well that you know we were saying before Teresa is that everyone has something potentially to give don't they so it, it's sort they of do. giving each of us a, a value mm-hmm. and of ourselves really which is very important isn't it mm, absolutely and a lot of people say that I don't know I don't know what I can add to the time bank but when they start reading the feed and they see you can you know you give a massage or a hair you know you can go and do someone's hair for them for an hour or just bake a cake or cook a meal for them help in the you garden know? you don't have have to be a gardener to you know help someone pull exactly. weeds out of their allotments you just need to to have arms which most of us do i mine don't work very well but <laughs> <laughs>